It's October and the sign's gone up already. It's a long winter ahead. Gentlemen, preferred lies? All right. What does that mean to you? I have no idea. I've only just started playing. Mike, what does that mean to you? Pick it up, put it on the green by the pin. Somewhere around there? Yeah. Another couple of members not sure what they're doing on the winter rules. <laughs> Hello everybody, okay we're here at Torquay Golf Club and unfortunately it is winter time or it's October and it's now started to rain. Um, I have with me Tim Agate, our club secretary. So we're going to get on the golf course and we're going to have a little look at these winter rules or rules that might help you along the way with your golf for this winter. So let's, uh, let's get on the golf course and uh, See take a little do. look. So Tim, I've hit my tee shot down the first hole, it was yep. a big one for me today, so I'm now in the middle of the fairway and um, I've got a little bit of uh, mud on my golf ball, Yep. I can now clean that ball. You can. Okay, so we're going to go through the process now of me going to mark this ball, Tim's going to sort of steer me along the way of how I would mark it and then what I can do from that position. So we're going to mark this golf ball now and uh, we're going to show you how you should do it correctly within the rules of golf. Okay. Okay. The first thing to say about a golf ball that's live, and it doesn't matter where it is, we're talking about preferred lies here, but it could be any situation. If the ball is live, it should always be marked before it's moved. Okay. Now you can mark it with a T, you can mark it with a coin, um, just anything that specifically identifies where that ball lay. Once the ball is marked, then you can pick it up, which you can do, Dan. Yep. Give so it a clean. That I can clean that off. And then you can put it back within six inches, but not nearer the hole. So we're going in that direction. So it's anywhere from behind that imaginary line, six inches either side of the golf ball. Now, I'm quite lucky because that for me is, believe it or not, my um, thumb and little finger spread out is virtually six inches. But if your hands are too big or not quite big enough, there is another guide you can use, which is the scorecard because the width of our scorecard is actually around about five and a half inches. So if you've actually got any doubt about how far you've gone and how far you're going, use the card because it will give you the guide that you need. Okay. Okay, Tim, so I've cleaned the golf ball. Yep. Uh, I'm now going to use the edge of the card here to give me a rough idea of what six inches. As Tim said, that this is five and a half inches, so I've got probably about another thumb's worth of, of work there for that. So, and I've got what, what Tim was saying, I have a semicircle behind this tee, yep. the, the, behind the direction of where I'm going. So from here, I can now mark myself six inches, and that would be approximately there. Yep. Once I've now placed that ball, yep. That ball is now in play. The ball is now in play. You can't touch it again. Once you've replaced it, when you're preferring your lie and your hand is off the ball, that is it. The ball is back in play. You can't do it again. You've only got the option to prefer your lie once for yep. every given shot. Okay. T gets picked up and off you go. Winter rules has gone up. Preferred lies. What are you supposed to be doing? Mark, Mark it. it. Pick it up, clean it, and put it down within six inches, no nearer the hole. Six okay. that? Within six no, inches. I thought it was four six, inches. Yeah. I thought it was four inches. Yeah. Anybody else? Any takers on six or four inches? No, I would have said six. With either. Six? I would have said six. Okay. Interesting. I've just played my second shot into the first hole here at Torquay Golf Club, and I've gone a little bit right, uh, uh, right with my second shot, and I've ended up on the 16th tee. Now, it's winter time. I've got preferred rules lit, uh, written up on the first tee there, so Tim, do I get relief? Do I, am I allowed to place this ball in this position now? We all know about preferred lies and we all know that it's preferred lies in the fairway. But the official title for this is it's preferred lies in the moan portion. Okay. So the moan portion, yeah, it is the fairways, but it goes further than that. So it's also uh, the approaches and the surrounds of the green. But equally importantly, in this case, it means the tee of another hole. So if your ball is on, in this case, the 16th tee, yeah, you can absolutely lift, clean the ball and replace it, but it's got to be within six inches and not nearer the hole. Perfect. Okay, so on the golf course, closely mown area, the tee would be part of that, so we would get, I would get relief for this particular shot. I could mark it, clean it, and then place it within six inches of its original spot. Thank you very much, Tim. You're welcome. Let's go and see if those members know whether they get to lift, clean and place on the 16th tee. What happens if your ball comes to rest on a tee? 
on, on a tee. On a tee box. Lift it, it off. Lift it off what? Take it to the nearest point of relief. Okay, so winter rules, is that part of the so. part of a fairway? I presume so. Hi. If it's on a tee, yeah. you can play it. Yeah, you can play it, correct. And can you mark it, clean it, under winter if, rules? Yes, you can. Yes? Winter time coming, you know, get the best out of that golf course as you can. Just remember, you can lift, clean and place within six inches on the fairway in clo closely mown areas. And knowing your winter rules uh, is really going to help you. You know, double check on the first tee before you tee off because half the guys I was speaking to didn't even know the winter rules had gone up. So always check the first tee, always ask in the pro shop and uh, get out and enjoy your golf this winter. If you like what you're watching with our YouTube channel, please subscribe and, uh, and give it the thumbs up button. We're also on Twitter and you can follow us at, at Hendrickson Golf. Uh, we're also on Facebook, which is Torquay Pro. Thanks very much for watching and uh, see you again soon.